Hey everybody, Chad back with yet another video and thanks for uh, supporting the channel so far. Um, I didn't really think I was going to do this many videos, but it's been fun. And uh, doing my collection videos and in between kind of doing the uh, ripping pack videos, um, which who knows where that will lead to, but we are in search of uh, a buck, Buck Showalter, and I uh, have my lucky Buck Showalter hat on. Hasn't been so lucky so far, because we have ripped um, three different times, um, same product, and yet, again, we just got in more packs of 2005, tops total, to rip open. Um, and the first time we ripped, uh, I believe it was like 20 packs we ripped, and didn't have any success there with the printing plate. Uh, we also had a single pack that we got, and last time we did a... Uh, a box and a half and this time we are going to do yet another box and a half of tops total again uh, you know these cards are getting harder to find uh, and uh, it just occasionally some will pop up and they're reasonably priced so we're just gonna go ahead and do it I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on it and uh, you know how the last videos have been so let's get ripping okay so we'll do it like right here and start in with the first pack. Uh, I might repeat myself a little bit, but basically there is 10 cards in every pack. And as we go along, we're just going to separate them a little bit. Um, if there's anybody really important, we'll shout them out. But uh, Mark Pryor there. Um, got a John Mabry. Silver border card, another David Ortiz. We've seen a lot of his cards in the last few rips. And basically, you know, so far with all the packs we've we've ripped, um, it has been roughly um, a little over two boxes, and we've yet to pull. Anything of real, real value. There's Justin, Justin Renault for the twin silver border card, parallel card. And again, you might be saying, oh, you missed so-and-so in these packs. That's fine. You can comment down below if uh, I missed anybody. Um, there's a few rookies in here of note, but for the most part, uh, again, the set is not that expensive. Milton Bradley. Not the board game, but the baseball player. Silver border card. And as you know, there's uh, several insert sets in here. This is kind of the time where baseball cards were transitioning and into having the inserts. Uh, Adam Kennedy, silver border. I'm sure that that silver border parallel set is not that tough to complete since they basically give you um, one card in every pack. But obviously there's a regular Todd Helton. Mariano Rivera, that's a nice card. All right, here we go. Tops total in its uh, Eric Chavez. Tops total card. Uh, one of the insert sets. And we've got a Sean Chacon. I guess that's how you say that. Silver border card. Pretty much no in the pack when you're going to get the the hit. It's sort of smack dab in the middle. Again, there's only ten packs, uh, ten cards per pack. There's Scott Rowland, silver border. So far, nothing. Would be nice to see a, a plate out of all these packs we've written. And uh, not written, broken open, I should say. Paul Canerco. There's an award winner, Barry Bonds. Very nice card. Um, and again, that's uh, the card we're looking for. There is uh, uh, Manager of the Year, Buck Showalter. Last time, you may remember, we got um, Bobby Cox for the National League. 
there's a Matt Morris uh, silver border. Uh, and Buck, he was the manager of the year for the Texas Rangers. So um, that's kind of what the cards look like. And then, again, I will I'll repeat it a little bit because there are some people that may have not seen that video. There's Tino Martinez, silver border. And basically, every card that is uh, manufactured has printing plates and they make uh, four different colored printing plates make up each each card and that's including your base cards um, so these specialty cards here's another one Johan Santana award winner card um, so what they've done is uh, the four colors that make up uh, the card they've done the plates for the front and they made four of them for the back as well so um, David Murphy and Hanley Ramirez, uh, Silver Border Parallel. So basically, uh, in this set, there is eight, eight printing plate cards uh, for Buck Showalter and for everybody else, too. So, CC Sabathia. There's a tops total. Uh, Greg Maddox, nice card with the Cubs. There's uh, Eric Gagne. Silver Border. So, uh, you know, you would figure, I think it's the odds of pulling one are uh, one in about uh, two to three boxes. There's a Benji Molina, Silver Border. So, basically, We'll have, when we're done ripping this, we'll have ripped about three boxes, so we should see one, I would imagine. Hoping. Whoop, another Barry Bonds, total award winner card. That's unusual. There's another Frank Thomas silver border card. Albert Pujols. Again, the set is very nice. It's got some um, Hall of Famers, veterans in there, some nice cards. Again, the set was produced in 2005, this particular one. Chris Snyder is the parallel card. Again, if anybody's interested in any of these cards, just uh, message me. I will get back to you. And if you're looking for a full set, maybe even, there's uh, D.V. Cruz, Silver Border. Um, I'll be probably putting sets together of this because we've got so many. I imagine it should be pretty easy to put a set together uh, pretty soon. There is an Albert Pujols, very nice uh, total production card. Very nice. And a Brad Hop, H A W P Hype, however you say that. Sorry, I don't know him. Hopefully, I prepared this time and there's not a lot of them. Boxing and so forth, so we get right to it. Here's another card. It's a Victor Martinez total award winner. Well, we're seeing a lot of the award winner cards, and there is a Raul Chavez silver border. We'll try one from the other stack. And you just would think that since the set is really not that popular, except there, there's an Alex Sanchez silver border, um, that you would find the plates online, um, and there are a bunch of them online. They're not really that expensive. But then again, I just have never found Buck Showalter. Here's another one, Sammy Sosa, Total Tops. Really nice card. 
nice gloss to it. There's a Rodrigo Lopez, silver border card. John Smoltz, nice card. Cece Sabathia, Jose, Pos Jose Posada, or Jorge Sab Posada, boy, I can't even say that. Um, there's a nice Todd Helton um, silver border card. Uh, this is the glossy version. And I still haven't really found out much about the glossy version, although they exist. Um, they just seem to be pretty rare because um, they're like one in every 10 packs we've come across a few. a Casey Fossum. Oh, and that wasn't it. Lance Bergman. Sorry. Casey, we don't have you. We have Mr. Bergman as the silver parallel. And you kind of imagine by now that a lot of people have opened up their tops total. There's a Johnny Damon, silver border. And, you know, what's out there should be out there. Um, again, it's not an overproduced product, I don't think. And, you know, by not seeing them online much, you're kind of wondering. There is another Sammy Sosa. We've seen this one before. It's the shiny version of the uh, parallel. And there's Trevor Hoffman. Silver border. But, um, just don't understand why it's not, since it's not a real expensive set, uh, you know, why wouldn't it be out there more and, and have more for sale? But I just don't see much of it. And maybe if you've seen them somewhere else, you can let me know. Matt Cotto, silver border. It actually would be nice just to find the printing plates online somewhere that somebody else had already opened and save us some money to uh, buy a pack. There's a Jose Hernandez silver border parallel. Although it's fun ripping packs, and I can see why the pack break videos uh, are so popular. But, you know, after a while, even at a inexpensive... Uh, cost these are Eric Dubois parallel that um, you know you buy enough of them and you know you basically you know probably runs about $40 a box if you can find a box or so this is Gary Sheffield Randy Johnson tops total very nice and Michael Barrett is the parallel card. So again, not sure uh, why you don't see more of everybody out there because you would figure by now most of the boxes have been opened, but I'm sure there's a few out there. Michael Tucker, parallel card. And, you know, we have been looking for his cards for a long time. And, you know, I mean, I've even seen players, people selling players, all four cards of certain players. So um, I'm just amazed that we can't seem to find that. Here is a Roger Clemens. Wow, that's really nice. Shiny parallel card. And a Mark Mulder parallel card. And if you guys know any more information on, on these uh, on these cards, um, other than we've what we've researched already, um, there is a JD Drew parallel. I think we you know have found out quite a bit about these cards, but you know, maybe there's something that you are aware of, maybe you were collecting at this time, and you uh, know something we don't, 
um, please share with everybody. We'd love to know. There is a Ron Valone and Julio Mateo parallel. Um, just really feel it's always important if you know something about the cards that people are breaking that maybe you can chime in too. That's why it's the baseball card community. Jared Washburn, parallel card. We did find out that uh, there was a set, uh, and I'll give a shout out to my buddy Chris Weaver. Uh, there is a Jose Contreras silver border card that um, Chris did a lot, of, a lot of research helping me locate some hard to find buck cards and there is a set believe it or not from 2006 tops and um get a little bit more into it here in a second there is rob quinlan parallel kevin euclid anyway basically what happened is uh, they had um a home run derby cards randomly inserted in 2006 cards there was 10 cards printed for everybody that was in the home run derby. And if your player, if you got a card, uh, Armando Benitez, silver border, if you got a card from one of those players and they won the home run derby, you sent the card in and there was a parallel set that was done in blue borders for that particular 2006 set and after we researched it Chris found out there is uh, another repeat for parallel card that there was only actually one person uh, it was um, Ryan Howard that won the home run derby contest that year and a guy had the card and he sent it in and he got the set it was set number 7 out of 10 Lewis Alight and Shad Cordero parallel and basically the other nine sets of cards were unclaimed and we have even called tops to find out uh, what happened to those other sets and no information was given to us Chris Agulia parallel uh, we don't know if they were destroyed I guess that's been a question for years. Uh, Tops has said they do destroy unclaimed prizes and stuff, so who knows? Uh, it's kind of hard to believe that they would do that, not at least put them in the archive or something. Oh, very nice, Derek Jeter. There's a nice, for Austin Farmer, there's a Derek Jeter silver parallel. Austin, I know you want that card, so let me know but I thought it was very interesting there's nine sets that were unclaimed and basically destroyed by tops so apparently there's only one set of those cards out there and that's the rarity of it here's another Vladdy Daddy Vladimir Guerrero Sr. total production card and a Scott Hattenberg um, parallel it's very sad that um you know, there isn't more information on some of these hard-to-get sets. It's, it's like you really have to do the research to find out. Tony Tercado is the parallel. There's a nice Smoltz. Um, Jim Toman. Now we're down to our last, uh, looks like five packs, and I still can't believe we haven't pulled at least... A printing plate of some sort. I mean, really? Oh, that's nice. I didn't know the checklist had a border, but they do. So they do have parallel for the checklist. All right, last four. But uh, anyway, interestingly enough, that guy who won that set did actually break up the set and was selling it on eBay. Um... Uh, buy the card for a while 
and uh, we've tried to find him, and he lives in the Detroit, Michigan area. We haven't been able to locate him. Chad Tracy, um, parallel. So um, thanks to Chris Weaver for all that hard work, and he actually pulled one of the home run cards out of a box of tops himself, so that kind of started the whole thing. Wow, Manny Ramirez total production card. Very nice. Used to love Manny back in the day. Uh, Miguel Batista, Silver Parallel. This is very disappointing. Uh, really is, but who knows? we got two packs. I just would love to see a printing plate, and of course, I would really love it to be Buck, but Anyway, oh, Ken Griffey Jr., really, really nice card there. Tops total. Um, variation card, and there is Wilfredo Ledesma. Never heard of that guy. Parallel. So we're kind of bumming, but you never know. Could have been in the one pack we pulled. Could have been in any of them. Let's see what we got here. There's something. Oh, Pedro Martinez. Wow. That's a beautiful card. Just absolutely. Th those are really nice. And Rubio Durazo. Parallel. Well, that looks like it's it, guys. Um, Andy Pettit for the Astro rounds out. Um, we did get some nice um, insert cards. I mean, we've definitely been able to do that so far. And believe it or not, not a lot of value to, um, to these parallel cards. Uh, it's a shame, but there really isn't. And um, would really like to know a little bit more about this parallel set because um, they come like one per five or ten packs. We haven't seen a lot of those, um, unlike the... Uh, the silver parallel, which of course there is one in every pack. So, um, so if you know anything more about the set or you're interested in the set, um, you're looking to do some trading. Um, I'm always looking for bucks, buck cards. Um, so by all means, if you have some and you want to trade or whatever, let me know. We can definitely work out something. I'm open to all those suggestions. And I do thank you for watching this break and um, please like and subscribe and we'll hopefully be doing some more of these in the future but until then thanks for watching and have a great day god bless